and we are getting ready to get started on the first fold out so um, go ahead and pause me after you do this but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut three sheets of let me move this out of the way so it's not distracting we're going to need three sheets of eight inch by 11 inch okay so that's the first thing that we're going to need to cut so i'll go ahead and cut the first one with you guys and then you can pause me and you can go cut your own so we're going to do three sheets and i'm going to go ahead and oh come on Go ahead and cut eight inches right there. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to cut 11 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut three of those and I'll meet you back here in a minute. All right, so now that we have our three sheets of eight by 11 paper cut out, now we're gonna cut one piece that's nine inches by 11 inches. And by the way, I wanted to mention to you while it's on my mind that as I cut all of this paper, I will be making a stack of the larger scraps so that those can be put to use later on in this project. I'm just using this brown because I've got a lot of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the nine inch cut first. So that leaves me a nice little big section left. Okay, so nine inches, and I'm gonna put this in my stack of usable scraps. So there's the nine inch. Okay, by 11 inches. Okay. All right, so there's the 9 inch by 11 inches. And these little scraps right here, I hate to be wasteful, but I'm going to tell you that I'm probably just going to throw those out. But I don't know that for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. Okay, and so now what I want you guys to do is we're going to score this paper at four, four inches. Now, I have a Martha Stewart uh, board, but I don't have it with me at work. I don't ever bring it to work. So I'm just going to use my cutter to score. I've got it at the four inch mark, and I'm just going to run... And I'm going to have to turn this where I'm sitting. But I'm just going to take my bone folder and just run it down this crease right here. Just like that. And you can do the same thing. You don't have to have a Martha Stewart scoreboard. Okay, so I did that at four inches. And so what I'm going to do then, and I'm using coordination, so that's why it's two different colors. It's brown on the front and a yellow on the back. But again, you don't have to use that. Use whatever you've got on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that. Just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to accordion fold this next one. The leftover. Okay, so I'm trying to show you the leftover. And so to do that, I'm just going to put the leftover where my cutter is. Okay, where where that piece of paper is, right there that ends, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and score that leftover. And I hope you guys saw how I did that. I'm just going to score that leftover. And I went off of my mark just a little bit, but that's no big deal if you do that. That's no big deal at all. Okay, so, and I'm going to fold this like an accordion fold like this, okay? So I'm going to fold this just like this. Alright, so what you wind up with is something that looks like this, okay? 
Okay? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to take one of our 8 by 11 sheets of paper. Hold on one moment. Okay, so now what we're going to do is on this little flap right here, on this little teeny flap right here, we're going to go ahead and use our score tape. So I've got my score tape, and I'm going to go ahead and add your score tape to this portion right here. So if you guys don't want to watch me do that, feel free to jet ahead a little bit. I always turn mine upside down if I can to get that other piece of score tape off. Okay, and we want this to be nice and strong. So we're going to put a piece on either end. And if you guys have bigger score tape, or wider score tape, I should say, feel free to use it. I'm on this inch section here. All right. Go. And so I've got my score tape on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a bone folder to smooth that down so that it all comes off nice and neat. I'm going to go ahead and remove that score tape. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is this little flap. I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to turn it just like this, okay, where this side opens, okay? And I'm going to take my eight and a half by, I mean, excuse me, eight by eleven sheet of paper, and I'm going to very, very carefully, let's see, I laid it down a little too quick. Don't worry if that happens, just go ahead and try again. I'm going to go ahead and try to get that as lined up as perfectly as I possibly can. Okay. Alright, and now I've got that on there. And now I'm just going to burnish that down really, really good. Okay. Just like that, okay. So now you have something that looks like this. Okay, you see that? You have something that looks like that. Now what we're going to do is, is that we're going to take another piece of our 8 by 11 cardstock and we're going to just place this right on top of that, okay? Right there, right on top. And we're going to put score tape on the sides of this and along the bottom, okay? So, this, this piece of paper that we have that we just did, that we just glued this little flap on, okay? This piece right here, okay? We're going to put adhesive, we're going to put score tape right along the edge here. Okay, just like this, and again, I'm going to turn my whole project upside down and clip that off. Okay, and we're going to use the score tape again, and I'm going to get the score tape, I'm sorry if my head's getting in the way, but I want to get the score tape right along that edge. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to put a piece of score tape right along the edge of this right here. Okay? Just like this. Okay. And I'm going to come almost to the end with that score tape. And I'm just going to put my scissors there and clip it off. And I'm going to 
burnish that down so that now what you have is something that looks like this. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take this off just like this. Okay. Just like this. We're going to take this off. Of course, it doesn't want to come off because I'm working on camera. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach this piece of 8 by 11 cardstock that we're working with. And again, we're just going to work really hard to try to get it exactly even. And this can sometimes be tricky, but you just have to be patient. And there we go. And then I'm going to just burnish that all down where we've got it all nice and, and flat. Okay. Okay. And so now what you have is something that looks like this. And that that we just glued down just made a pocket right there, okay? Alright? But when we get this book finished, it's also going to have this element here, which is going to pull out. Okay, so you're going to have another piece right here that will pull out. Okay, just like so. All right. Follow me so far? Okay.